Hello and welcome to KDE News, a weekly video to showcase not only the new cool stuff in KDE really, but also for some of them the easiest how they were implemented. So if you feel like contributing to KDE, well, you kind of know where to start or how things are done underneath, you know, behind the scenes. The first one is rather easy and is that after all of the feedback saying that uh, 62 more actions in the K hamburger menu was stressful, well, now it only says more. And then there are all of the action divided into categories. Maybe that's not enough. Hopefully that, uh, you know, improves the situation somehow. To implement this, uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, you only need to know a bit of C++ and unlikely there's lots of it in this one so I won't really go through it. There are three files that were modified. The second one though it's a bit easier and I think it's a good improvement like to the user. When you're using a Kurigami apps that uses the navigation, navigation tab bar which is this one it will stop looking like this and now it will look sorry like this one which is nicer a bit prettier. So how was this done? And by the way, consistency is really important here because if naviga navi navigation tab bar wasn't used in all Kurigami applications, but they all did each own their own, all this change wouldn't be possible. And I'm saying that because that was the situation we had with all of the application doing their own stuff. So. The main idea is that uh, you change a bit the colors. As an example, the foreground color is now a bit more opaque and the highlight foreground color now uses the text color and is a bit more opaque as well. But the main idea, after all of the color changes, of course, these are just like the check, checked border color, the press border color, blah, blah, blah. But then the important stuff is in here and it's inside of a rectangle because after all we are using QML and the QML way to draw rectangles is a, re a rectangle element and you have to set the width, the height and then you set a radius and when you actually do this well this is the rectangle, rectangle we're talking about. It's a rectangle and it's implemented as a rectangle so it's pretty straightforward. You see that the width is the width of the parent element minus a bit of spacing hopefully you're seeing everything the height is the height of the parent minus a bit of spacing and so on. So you just say like this position inside it should have, the radius, the color, and that's it really. Instead of having two rectangles, now there's just one and uses the property as before, the colors are a bit changed. Third one, this is particularly nice, although at first I totally did not understand this feature, but it's interesting. I think it could lead to some very interesting features, but right now it's a bit confusing maybe for the average user, so let's look into it. So this new window that you see on the right part of the screen, which is probably covered by me, is uh, where you see this panels and desktop management and what that does is that it actually allows you to move and drag and drop really panels and a desktop from a screen to another. Meaning that if you have a, another screen you can actually drag and drop your entire desktop from one uh, window to an, sorry from one display to another. I meant display. And I think that's pretty cool. So if you have some files on your desktop you can actually make sure that those files display on the display you have attached. That's cool on the monitor. Of course, this is a gigantic uh, merge request with two even merge requests, so I won't get into it, but interesting. Then there is this very little detail, but not so little, I think it's very nice. Uh, the video, of course, isn't working because, I mean, of course I'm trying to showcase it. But the idea is that now on Kurigami apps, whenever there is a search bar, so as an example in, uh, here, as an example in your chat, sorry, I had to pick up uh, Nate's blog. As an example in, Nate, in um, Neo chat, you can see that there is a search bar and now there is this little icon with a search. And when you actually select the search bar, well, it disappears. And that's very nice. It's a nice animation. So very little details, but the fact that it's implemented for all, now it works here as well, of course. The fact that it's implemented for all, um, search bars uh, 
in Kurigami means that it will appear everything, everywhere, sorry. And that's a big plus of having consistency. Then there is this, which is add format or edit in a partition manager. And that was implemented in this, sorry, I didn't want the commit, I wanted the merge request. In this merge request, and the idea is that you now have along other actions uh, in the applet in the system tree regarding like USB sticks, also open in partition manager if you have KD partition manager installed. You can see that it's not really difficult, actually it's like only two files. And the idea is that there is a new file which is called open in partition manager desktop. And in that desktop file, which is this one here, there is a new desktop action called open. And what it does, it executes, executes partition, partition, sorry, manager with device this, which is, you know, the actual USB or whatever drive you have attached. And then the icon that it uses is the partition manager icon. And the name of the action is reformat or edit with partition manager. And that's it. Just these like five lines are enough to actually show the action in the menu of that applet, which is so cool. Like you just add the action in your application. This is not even Plasma and it appears on Plasma. Cool stuff. Lastly, I think this is very interesting. This is ensure overlay drawer hand handles is keyboard navigable. And uh, well, this patch is regarding overlay drawer in Kurigami. Again, there's lots of Kurigami. Kurigami is very, is being very actively maintained, developed actually, not maintained. And uh, well, there is this component which is called overlay drawer. And you can see in the Kurigami gallery, if you go install it, that you can actually see how it looks. It's even of course in system settings and such. And you can see that in changes, what this does is, well, first of all, it makes the tooltip clearer for, uh, well, the text, the, sorry, the tooltip for the button that opens and closes the drawer. Before it was closed, cause called close drawer. Now I can do this. Okay, before it, it was called close, now it's closed drawer. It was called open, now it's open drawer. Much better. And there is a new button, which is only shown if you're not in tablet mode and you're not using touch, because if you're using touch, then you don't want a button, but it actually, it's actually drag and droppable. So that's cool. With an ac accessible name, which is, if it's open, then it's the button to, it's the open tooltip, which is closed drawer. And if it's closed, it's the closed tooltip, which is open. So it has this name, which improves accessibility. And if you click it, then it switches from being open to being closed or from being closed to being open. That was it. Thank you everyone for following along. And hopefully this was somewhat, somewhat instructive, even though apparently I can speak today. Still, thank you to all of the Patreons that are appearing in the screen for donating to me. And uh, I will try to do as many informative videos as possible and develop for KDE and such. I'm still working on KDE panel since months at this point, but sooner or later, my patch for the KDE panels will be ready. And what can I say? Thank you for staying till the end of the video and see you tomorrow.